I'm sure everybody here in the room realizes we just completed an election. And the unique thing about our election is our nation came together on one day and we peacefully decided who the leaders of our country would be. Unfortunately, in a lot of parts of this world, people can't do that. Men and women have never had the opportunity to elect the leaders of their government. Our determination and individualism may fiercely divide us during political discourse, but that's those same qualities unite us when we uh, seek to further the cause of freedom. It's because we value this freedom and many others that our citizens who voluntarily place them in harm's way may end up paying the ultimate price with their life to protect it. The United States, unfortunately, is still vilified in many places around this world. <clears throat> Nightly, we can sit in our, in our living rooms, watch our television, watch other countries, mobs within their countries disrespect our leaders, burn our flags, attack our embassies, and even kill our citizens. Those individuals do not understand that these acts cannot extinguish the flame of freedom that burns in the hearts and souls of the men and women of this country. They cannot diminish the fierce patriotism we feel the goosebumps when we hear the national anthem or God bless America, or the national pride and fierce protection that rises to meet the threat to our safety or that of our country and our families. We can't be bullied by thugs or terrorists. The ideals that have founded, that our country was founded on remain today, and there's nowhere that is more evident than in the service of our military. We've taken our lumps because we have made mistakes along the way, but the United States still remains the greatest country in the world, a beacon of light and often a very dark place. We owe a debt of gratitude, as the general said, to those who fought and served to preserve this freedom. Elmer Davis, who was a war correspondent in World War I, said this will remain the land of the free only so long as it is the home of the brave. Today we acknowledge the brave service of our veterans and renew our national promise to fulfill our sacred obligations to our veterans and their families who have and continue to sacrifice so much so that we can live free. Thank you and God bless you.